Well, today on Nation, a window cleaning podcast, we're going to be talking all about pricing strategies for window cleaning. Window cleaning, pressure washing, we'll talk about it all. So if you have a business or you're thinking about having a business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What's up? Hey, if it's your first time here, have a look around. Hopefully you dig it. Hopefully it's a pretty decent episode. It's better than a cat video because you've got 220 episodes to catch up on. So get to listening. If you're binging all this content, please let me know. I'd love to uh, know. And if you watch all the time, you've seen all the episodes, if you've done all that, you've thumbs up this video, you've commented, you've shared, You've done all the other cliche YouTube stuff, and more importantly, you buy your supplies through me, because shameless plugs happen. Thank you. It is because of you that I get to live a lavish lifestyle of eating every single day, so thank you so much for uh, doing that. By the way, I am a rep for windowcleaner.com, so if you want to have me put your orders in, it gives me credit. It's like a virtual high five of awesomeness, and, you know, it's pretty easy. I try to make it easy. It doesn't cost you anything extra, by the way. Not a penny extra. Same price. Same price if you do it. Same price if I do it. But that's what I do for a living. That's how I make my cheddar. Let me know. 862-312-2026 is my cell phone. I looked away, by the way. 2026. 862-312-2026. Shameless plug number two, if you haven't yet. Did you know that there is a magazine? for window cleaners and only for window cleaners. It's literally called the American Window Cleaner Magazine. If you want to get your hands on the new issue every single month, go to AWCMAG. Get a subscription, man. It's super cheap. Super cheap. Go and do that because inside of every episode, every issue, is a sticker sheet of awesome window cleaning stickers that are custom made. Uh, Yes, I actually make these stickers. Well, as much as some of them are are made. So, anyway. Go do that. Shameless plug over, but get that. Oh, by the way. We finally have started the sticker club. So, if you want a sticker sheet every month, go. It's a monthly uh, fee instead of a yearly if you don't want the magazine. But get the magazine. Get any of it. it, And all of it. EWCMAG.com. Anyway, okay, cool. So, today... We are talking about pricing strategies for window cleaning. I've done a ton of videos on what to price them, but not really the how to, right? How to price them so they look good. How to get people excited over the pricing. Now, obviously, no matter how much you do or how much you don't do, you have to explain to people why they're paying what they're paying for the price. You have to tell them what they're getting for the price. That's more important than the price itself, right? We know that. We've talked about that a hundred times, but there's a few strategies for window cleaning that really kind of uh, allow you to communicate that better. Like sales in general is communication. If somebody's calling you, they want window cleaning. It's already done. It's already, you already know. They already want window cleaning. They're already your target market. They're like, Hey, I have windows that need to be cleaned. I don't want to clean them. What's up? Right? So it's your job then to inform them with enough information that they can make a a good decision. That's what sales really, really is. It's just, I have questions, I'm not confident in making the sale myself, so I'm calling you to help me with that. Even if somebody calls and says, hey, I talked to Joe, my neighbor, they said you did a great job, I want to go with you. Sign me up. When can we do it? Right? You have other things. Well, awesome. What did Joe have done? Just the outsides? Well, we do also do inside and outside. We also do gutter cleaning, house washing, blah, 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 right? It's your job to inform them of everything that you do, and that is what helps you with your pricing strategy. Now, with that being said, remember, there are differences between the three types of window cleaning. There are three types of window cleaning, and everything can be fallen into those three types. That is uh, residential, route, and commercial, right? Residentials, houses. Uh, Route is done once a month or more frequent than that. And commercial is done less frequently than once a month. So quarterly, biannual, annual, right? 
Each of those has a different feel, a different sell, a different uh, way to kind of put the information out there. And of course, there's different pricing strategies. So don't confuse them. Don't go and find, you know, oh man, with my 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 houses, my residential, they really like when I, you know, do a 20 window special. I better do the same thing for commercial. It's different, man. What you're doing is basically taking, uh, you know, a cheeseburger that works great with somebody who really likes, you know, meat and trying to sell it to a vegetarian. It doesn't work. So there's different pricing strategies. The same thing with when you go and do advertising and you do marketing and you put your quotes out there, let people know who you are. You cannot do the same things with route and residential. You can't. You can't do the same things with route and commercial, Right. Route, I can stop in unannounced, and that's the best way to do it. Hey, my name is Jersey with XYZ. We do this place, this place, and this place. Here's your quote, right? You can't go into a commercial property and do that because most of the time the commercial person who's in charge isn't even there. I do a lot of commercial buildings, or did a lot of commercial buildings. And I can't tell you, one, that you walk in and there's like people that are able to help you with what you need. They're usually in an office. If they're property maintained, they're off-site. If it is a property management on-site company, they're not right there, right? You can't just do that. They're busy. There's a gatekeeper, if anything. Otherwise, it's an office building where there is no gatekeeper. There is no front desk, right? So you can't sell to one like the other. So don't confuse that. Don't put one into the same category. Oh, man, this works great. I know people who do door hangers uh, or EDDM or flyers and they're like oh man this works so well i'm just i'm doing it man i'm sending every store in my city i'm sending them a a a, a flyer you can't do that no one's gonna care the person at the front desk is just gonna throw it away now that's that's not every time by the way i mean you could maybe get something but your roi would suck so bad it wouldn't would not be worth it right okay all that babbling aside Here are some really good pricing strategies that I found really work well. If you're on YouTube, go ahead and comment. By the way, let me know what works really, really well for you because all the people watching want to know. And uh, if they don't read the comments, I want to know. So definitely do that. Uh, But for residential, the best thing that I've ever done for residential is a 20-window special. Now, a lot of houses in the cookie-cutter world could have 20 windows. Now, a window is like a double hung, right? So that would be two panes of glass consist of a window. There's always that debate too. What's a window? What's a pane? There you go. A 20 window special covers a lot of homes, but it's easy to understand. 20 window special, 199 outs only, right? 20 window special, inside and outside, 299 It's really, really easy for somebody to look at that and understand the pricing and it makes it easy and they can tire kick and they get an idea and they can count their windows and they can it makes it really 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 easy to figure it out the big thing is is that i say 20 windows or less x amount that covers everybody that's under 20 windows anything over 20 windows if they call and go hey i counted my windows i got 24 windows not a problem I break it down per window price and I go, we'll just add that on. You'll have the 20 window special and then we'll add on X amount for those extra windows, which is the same amount as what I would do. But 20 windows is just an easy way to convey it, right? A 20 window special can and should be adjusted. The price that you're charging in spring is different than the price you're charging, say, over the winter. Or the price that you're charging middle of summer. Maybe there's a month in the middle that's slow. You can change that price. It is literally called a 20 window special. The price is going to change, right? In fall and spring, it's your busy time. So don't go out and um, try to be as cheap as possible. Don't have winter rates in those times because you're going to be busy, right? As supply... Uh, as demand goes up, your supply has to go up. So making it happen that way really does make sense. Now, here's another thing with that same pricing strategy. If I tell somebody, hey, our window cleaning price, 20 windows inside and outside is 299 And they say, oh, man, yeah, 
it's a little bit more than I thought. I said, well, if you can wait and get it done in July, after the 4th of July and before the 1st of August, I can actually do those 20 windows for two forty nine. I could take you $50 off because we're slower at that time. If you can wait, I'd love to earn your business. If their concern was price, A, I'm still selling them on everything possible that I can do. I'm still letting them know that I can do that. But then here's the other thing is I could push them where it is. Now, filling up somebody in the dead of summer is really good because there's times where you may be just sitting around, right? Maybe you got four crews and you're not all sitting around, but some of them. Maybe you can't run really four crews in the summer. You got people twiddling the thumbs. Same thing with winter. If somebody comes in and fall, ah, oh, it's a little bit, hey, well, you know, if we can get you done in December, I can do it for this. Changing that price is absolutely fine. Let me let me preface this too. There's so many people out there who say, um, I would never do a coupon. I would never change my price. I'm not lowering my value, blah, 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 blah. Cool. There's no wrong way to do business. If that's how you want to do business, absolutely. But your brain is in the wrong place. Your brain is in the wrong place. Because here's the thing. I would 100% be okay with making a little less money in the middle of winter when I got nothing going on than I would and not having the job. You got to keep people busy. You got to keep them, you know, fed. You got to keep yourself fed. You got to do the work. But here's the thing. Tailoring somebody on your schedule makes sense. It makes sense. Even those people who are all hard and rigid, like, oh, I'll never give a discount. I'm better than that. Okay, so you're telling me that you've never paired services and, and done it a little cheaper. You've never discounted stuff for that. Or you've never uh, done any type of promotion. Or you've never um, talked to somebody and uh, they brought you, hey, me and my three neighbors want to do it. Could you do it for any less? That's cool. If you are that person, fine. Again, there's no wrong way. But for me, I'm absolutely happy doing that. So 20 window special, move it around throughout the calendar, make it work for your customers, and uh, they love it. It's such an easy understandable way to convey price. So you got to do that. A commercial more often saves money. Um, that's what they want to do. Commercial more often than not wants to save money on the total project. So it's a little bit different in the price, but it's not going to necessarily be a discount, right? Because that commercial, they send it to you on their own dime and you get to put it in. So I'm already going to put it in my slow time. My commercial gets done pre-spring and pre-fall. Always. Those are my six-month blocks. How do you save money on commercial? I'm not saying be cheaper. I'm not saying, oh, man, well, it was at $4, but I'm going to call them and tell them, hey, I could do it for 3 Don't do that. That's not really it. Because now you're stepping over dollars to make pennies, right? You don't need to necessarily beg for work or make it not make sense. But what you can do is adjust the quote, right? When somebody comes to me with a commercial project, I will always, if there's balconies, when I bid it, not do the balconies. If there's insides, I won't do the insides. I will do the inside and outside of the front doors or something like that. If there's storefronts, right? Like if there's storefronts at the base of the property, I won't do the storefronts. I'm going to tailor it to what they want. And then I'm going to do a package for everything. But I'm going to do my main one for what is going to be the minimum of what they really, really want. Because my price can come in. Same dollar per window. But if I'm not doing balconies, I'm not doing inside windows, I'm not doing storefronts, I can do exactly what they want. And I talk to a property manager and say, hey, we can do the whole building without storefronts, without balconies, blah, 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 blah. For X amount. X amount may be thousands of dollars less. And then I could say, well, if you want the whole project done, we'd love to get everything done for you. It's going to be this. Now they have an option. Now they really have an option. I'm still going to sell them on the fact that one call is me. You don't have to talk to a bunch of people. I'm not going to get you, you know, the run around. If you need me, I'm here for you 24 hours a day to make it happen. Property managers are my number one concern. Make sure that they are covered. But on the opposite side, 
I'm also going to give them something so that when they focus on the price, which they're going to, because they got a bottom dollar too, right? If you're a little bit higher, but they really like who you are and what you offer, they'll go with you. They will. I've had it. I've won bids from people being more expensive because they just didn't like that other company. But I also want to give them the option. With commercial, you want to break down every little thing so they can see it, pick it, choose it, and go with it, right? So if you're doing balconies and, and insides and you're doing all that fun stuff, storefronts, all on the same building, itemize it. So you can say, hey, if you want just this, it's this. If just Because sometimes they'll say too, hey, you know, once a year we'll do just that uh, top one and then once a year we'll do everything. That saves their bottom dollar. You didn't change your price. You changed what you're doing. You made the same amount of money per hour, but you're tailoring your services to them. Making a property manager happy makes a property manager send you a bunch more stuff. So property management, um, commercial, they're always looking on that side. So I'm going to break it down and give them different options. Same thing with pressure washing. Usually when I get in with a property manager, I will let them know everything we offer every time I talk. Because I have buildings that we do the inside, we do the janitorial, we do the exterior windows, we also do all the concrete, we do all of the front entrance ways, we do drive ups, we do uh, interior ceilings and drive ups, we do drive throughs, parking lots, I mean everything that we could possibly offer to them that we do, again, you're not a jack of all trades, master of none, right? But in your wheelhouse of things, they want you to do all of it. And I'm going to itemize the crap out of it. If you want, and by the way, uh, we had a janitorial side of things. Some of you may not, so that's where this comes from. Different staff, different everything. But we also did parking lot sweeping. We had curb line sweeping. Just bought a sweeper, and uh, our janitorial staff would do that when needed. That was a line item. You want to add that once a year, twice a year, once a month, right? It's that same concept. You can add all of that in specifically for the services you do. Make it appeal to the commercial customer. And you will get more work doing that. With route, they're also price oriented. But there's also a lot of things that will increase the price. Route works when you can just go wham, bam. Here's your invoice. I'm on to the next place. And the next place happens to be right next door. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Don't do bad work. But. The faster, more efficient you can work, the better, right? So for me, I'm going to always bid outside. I'm never going to bid the inside of a route unless they ask. If they ask for cooler doors, I could do that. If they ask for all this other stuff, they could do that. But what I'm going to do is give them the initial outside window cleaning right away. And I'm going to put it in weekly. Because for me, weekly, I can A, build a better, stronger route. I can only clean a week's worth of dirt, which is going to be a less price. I can go ahead and make that price look better per cleaning. And I can also understand the frequency side of it. If you do insides, now all of a sudden you're moving stuff. Think about your commercial, uh, your route work. There is very, 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 very few places that don't have like tchotchkes or signs or pallets of stuff if you're doing uh, uh c stores right that's all time trying to get around that stuff working it doing it yeah. i want to do outside make it simple do it when they need it i can do the insides outsides are what's really getting dirty usually anyway right so if i do all of that i can make it look like a great price and i can also increase my speed by doing just the outs. Now people are like, oh man, well if you're not doing it all, you're leaving money on the table. Absolutely true, absolutely. If I'm creating an exterior price, most of the time they're not gonna double it for inside because they got stuff there anyway, people can't see out of it, blah, 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 blah. But if they ask for it, I'm gonna 100% do it. Remember, almost every inside in route is going to take you a lot longer to do than the exterior. Now, that's not the case in residential. The interiors usually go quicker than the exteriors because you don't have to get up or do whatever, right? So for that, build your proposal, build your uh, quote to make sense for you. If you can speed up everything, it's better off for your company. You make more money that way, even though the money hasn't really changed. The pricing looks better to them. And you're doing what really needs it. 
exteriors, man, if I could do all exteriors of route, everybody's got that downtown, right? Where every building is boom, 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 boom. If I could get the whole street just exteriors, I would love that. Get a, a route guy. If you're running route crews, usually it's just a single guy. Vibe away. Put one earphone in if you want and just start cleaning. You'll be done in four hours, you know? It's great. It's so good. Two, if you're not in there talking to people, you're not holding the doors for customers, you're not doing that, that all takes time. So focus on what you can do more efficiently and, again, what kind of helps them with their bottom line. Going back around to everything, there's always add-ons. Again, people don't, some people, by the way, if you're watching and you're one of those some people, comment down below on, on YouTube, but some people say I'm not discounting anything, right? They're, they're just those people. But for me, if I can get people to do add-ons, I can do discounted add-ons. And the reason is, again, I'm not cheaping myself out of my, I'm, not, I'm already there. I don't have to drive there. If somebody pays me to do a gutter job, they're going to get the top of the, the, the tier because I got to drive there. I got to set up, do it, leave, drive to the next spot. If I'm already there doing the windows, and I already maybe I have a ladder up or the ladder's already on the truck. All I got to do is instead of doing the windows, I got to then do that gutters. I can give them a little discount. Adding add-ons will get you more money. It just will. So adding add-ons with a little bit of a discount helps people, again, grasp it in their brain. Any add-on we do, we can take 10% off. Something along those lines. Because I don't have drive time. And you will always make more money. Always make more money. If you're at one job for a whole day over a bunch of jobs during the day, right? You'll make more money per hour. There's no drive time. There's no setup. There's no teardown. There's no stopping for gas. Your crew's not going to have anything. None of that, right? If you're there on property, it's always more beneficial. So adding add-ons helps. Add-ons that you may do, you know, you got house washing, uh, roof cleaning is usually kind of separate a little bit, but you got house washing, concrete cleaning, pressure washing, insides, screen cleaning. If you're not doing screen cleaning, it's a great add-on. It's like three, four bucks a screen, pop out a screen cleaner, you can get it done in nothing, no time. If you're doing pressure washing, maybe you start getting into window cleaning. Add-on window cleaning is like 100, 130 bucks to do 20 windows. Boom, done. Right? Add-ons increase the, the bottom dollar. They increase the average ticket. And average ticket price, if that goes up, the customer's still the same. You fill up your calendar more, right? Every hour you're out there working is an hour you're getting paid for. Add-ons are super, super awesome. So don't worry about adding an add-on and discounting it, right? If you're doing one thing over the other, I would rather do three things than just one thing. Go to the next place, right? Again, if you are, are a pressure washer, you need to be adding window cleaning on. You need to be. Because when you're done house washing, yes, sometimes they turn out all right, but most of the time they don't. What do people do? Most of the time, unless their house was really bad, most of the time they sit in their house and they look out. 99% of their time that they're staring at or at their house is going to be through the window outside. The other 1% will be them looking at the siding of their house. If they walk into the front door and they don't see it, some people have garages. They don't even go outside. They don't look at their siding. But they do notice their windows. If their windows are spotted, they look like crap, they think you did a crap job, even though you explained to them the windows would be spotted. Adding window cleaning allows you to finish everything. You know, I always tell people, hey, uh, we try really hard not to get water where it doesn't belong. So we're going to rinse your windows, but we may not rinse them good enough and they will be spotted. But just so you know, uh, we do offer window cleaning. If you did want to add that on, if you didn't want to do the window cleaning yourself, uh, our window cleaning is $99 for the outs. Uh, we do it at the same time. So everything's done and you don't have to worry about it. 76%, I think it is. 76%, I believe, of all of the uh, house washing got uh, upsold to window cleaning 76 percent if you're not doing window cleaning you're just doing pressure washing that is absolutely absolutely key throw water fit on there it's super easy 
If you need questions or you want to get supplies to 862-312-2026 is my number. Let me know uh, after you're done watching the show. But it's a huge add-on. It's a huge add-on. Remember, you're thinking on this whole thing about how to build an empire. These are pricing strategies, right? Getting a customer is the hardest part. Cost of acquisition, if you're not figuring that out, that's the cost of how much it costs to get a customer. People go, I didn't pay anything. Yes, you did. You did. Because if you gave away plastic gift cards and they're coming in as referrals, you still paid for a plastic gift card, right? You still paid for the time telling people to give referrals. If you have a Facebook account, it took time to build that website. How much are you paying for your website? How much are you paying for your SEO? How much are you paying for all this stuff that you think just happened? There is a cost to get the customer. But the cost... To keep somebody, the retention cost, way. Are you talking about 1% or 2% of the initial cost? It could cost you $30 to get a new acquisition, if you really look at it. For even numbers, we spent $10,000 last year, and we got 100 new customers. That is how you figure your acquisition. Anyway, on the side of acquisition... Doing add-ons like that increase all of it. They all of it. Because once you already have the customer, they already trust you. Now it's adding add-ons. Increase that ticket, right? Beating add-ons, I know. Love add-ons. Another thing is a whole house package or the three rule. If you're not doing packages, um, you're 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 failing on that side of things to 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 put it out there. Responsive Bid does this really, really well, by the way. Uh, if you don't use Responsive Bid, check them out. But the thing with that is, is that in a package, there's three. There's the base. Just outsides, here you go. Here's your price. The middle one is inside, outsides, and gutter cleaning. Or inside, outsides, and tracks. Inside, outsides, and screens. Something where you're going and adding just a little bit more than you normally would. And then the other one is everything. Inside, outside, track, sills, screens, frames. You got house wash, concrete. Your driveway is done. Your, your roof is done. This is the whole house package. For even numbers, it looks kind of like this. $150, $350, and $1,250. Right? So what that ends up doing is people, for the most part, look at that base one and they go, ah, for a little bit more, I could kind of, right? For this or that, I could do this. But I don't need to do the big one. And people do do the big one. They didn't know you did all that stuff. Some people are like, just get it all done. I love that. But for the most part, people are pushed into the middle one. They understand that they're getting a little bit, they're getting more for a little bit more money. And it works like that. So whole house packages help immensely when you're trying to convey Pricing. Pricing to homeowners or letting them know what services that you offer for the price is hard. You got to let them know because they may have called you for window cleaning, but you have to let them know about everything else that you do, right? So packages help you do that. So think about packages if you're not doing that. And kind of to, to finish this off, I got a kind of an interesting idea. And we implemented it a bit before I sold my company. And I know quite a few people who have now kind of taken that and tried it. But it's residential route. Let me explain that. It's a residential customer that you say, hey, for X amount, every week, every month, every whatever, we'll do six windows. You pick the six windows, we'll do that. Now, people for the most part, they got kitchen windows, living room windows, maybe that one big window above the... They have six windows that they will find and have you do regularly. But what that does is it opens the door for you to say, hey, six windows done every month, and then twice a year we do everything. That's your package. People are great. They love that. Residential route, they really, really love that. Now, for six windows, you may be charging, you know, 40 bucks or something. You can charge a ton of money. We're just talking outside. No insides on route, uh, residential route. It's just as quick. Drive to the house, do the windows, drive to the next one. You're charging more than normal route, more than you are actual whole house cleaning because you got to drive to the house. There's no way to tighten that up. 
but people really, really love that. It builds frequency, and people have had a really, really good time uh, setting that up, and really, really good luck. So if you're thinking about something new, uh, check that out. Uh, residential route is really a kind of an interesting concept. I wish I would have done more with it, but I didn't because I sold my company. So anyway, but that's it. There's a lot of pricing strategies, a lot of ways to really, really lock down. Remember, strengthening the company, you'll make more money and not even have to do more work by strengthening it, especially with that. If you're getting more customers, you're getting them easier, you're filling your calendar where you want to, that's key. That's key to strengthening your company, by the way. Yeah, anyway. If you want supplies, though, I'm your man. Have a guy. That's me. Hi, I'm Jersey. My cell phone, 862-312-2026. If you haven't ordered from me in a while or ever, please do let me put the order in. Just shoot me a text. Be like, yo, everything's in my cart, man. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll verify your address and put it in. That's it. It's like easier than actual checkout. Do that. If you want stickers. By the way, we have six sticker packs on the website available right now, American Window Cleaner Magazine. Also, get a subscription. I love sales. I love it. But get a subscription. I see that name come across and I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I want American Window Cleaner Magazine to be huge. I want there to be thousands and thousands of subscribers. So do that. If you haven't had a paper magazine in a while, it's pretty awesome. Getting it in the mail, it's like opening Amazon every single month. So definitely do that. By the way, sticker sheets, sticker club. I didn't tell you about the sticker club. Just keep that between us. Sticker club's there. It's like $4.99 a month. $4.99. So anyway, go to that. Get it. Check it out. Until next week, go out there and uh, strategically price everything. But more importantly, go out there and be epic.